Hello, aunt. Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm going over my delt day. Oh, say hi. I did. I'm going to go over my delt day, aka my shoulder day today. So I'm gonna dive in depth and talk about all the exercises that I choose, why I choose them. I'm going to explain my mental cues behind each thing. And this is basically just going to be how to grow your shoulders. That is something that I personally struggled with for a long time. Then I took a step back and I started breaking down each movement and just like really focusing on feeling each movement moving super slow, just like I did in my leg video. So if you wanna learn how to build your glutes, I'll put the link in the description. I explained a full workout there, so that'll be down below. I'm downing a Rice Krispie Treat right now and I'm going to take my Astroflave pump pills and then we're gonna get on with my shoulder day. First order of business is warming up. So I warmed up with light lateral raises. Now I'm gonna move into a heavier lateral raise for around three to four sets, just to get my shoulders super warm, pumped, and ready to dumbbell press. The key with these is to pinch your shoulder blades back and then you want to raise your elbow up like you're pulling your elbow out to the side rather than just lifting weight with your hand. I also keep my eyes up so I don't engage my traps so much because if I look down I tend to engage my traps. So you're going to look up and then pinch your shoulder blades back and it should be all dealt, no traps. Now it is time to dumbbell shoulder press. So lately I have been focusing less on the weight that I'm pushing and more on just actual contraction and reps. So I am going to do pause reps. You'll see at the bottom of the movement, I pause and then I drive up. Still getting as many reps as I can with the heaviest weight I can do though. for this movement we're focusing on keeping our core engaged and as opposed to arching your back drastically this is going to help with more tension on your shoulders i've noticed i'm also going to throw an intensifier into this so i'm going to do a rest pause set with 40s so my top set was with 50s i'm going to go back down to 40s do a rest pause set as many as i can almost empty the tank with one set then i'm going to pause dumbbells in my lap then around 30 seconds later i'm going to put the weights back up as many as i can on the cable machine so we are going to use the strap and then you are going to just you know fly away focus again on keeping that shoulder blade back and keeping your chest up nice and tall and when you pull it should be more of like a push on this side of your hand away from your body to engage your rear delt When I bring my hand forward during the movement, I really focus on my rear delt stretching. I feel the stretch in my rear delt, and then from there, I explode back, which contracts my rear delt. Nice. Next movements are going to be a superset of seated lateral raises, and then we're going to go standing lateral raises. Seated is going to be a bit harder. It takes a lot of the momentum away. Standing, you know, regular standing. Same form tips as earlier. Superset movement is going to be focused on front raises. So I'm going to do an incline front raise, found myself in a nice dark corner, I'm using a preacher curl as my incline seat. Then I'm going to stand up and do the same thing, standing front raises, but instead of single arm, it's going to be double arm. Pinching the shoulder blades back, pulling the hand forward. head 
of my delt. So what we are going to do, we are going to do single arm lateral raises on a machine until failure. And I'm gonna keep switching it back and forth between arms until my arms fall off, essentially. I forgot what they're called for a second. I usually use the machine rear delt fly, but I have not been able to get on it for like the last 10 minutes. I've been waiting for even this machine, so I'm gonna make do today with this and then finish my workout here. Okay, because I'm a horrible YouTuber, I completely forgot to outro the video. I'm about to edit the video and was like, huh, I don't think I ever outroed it. So here's gonna be my outro. Just got something in the mail. We're gonna open it and do a nice, lovely unboxing together. So what do we got here? We got boatload of supplements. So we have my favorite Astro Flav protein, cookies and cream. This is number one flavor, okay, then we have my number two flavor, chocolate. And then we have my number three flavor, chocolate peanut butter. These are Anthony's favorite too. We run through these proteins and I desperately needed a restock because I was out of pretty much everything. And also in the mail, I ran out as well, more creatine. I am so horrible at taking creatine every single day. So I gotta get better at that, but unflavored creatine, there's a lot of servings in here. There's a hundred servings, five grams of servings. That's exactly what you need in a day. And you have it for a hundred days. And then I also have these hormonal supplements, these women's hormonal supplements. It's called Embrace. This is a newer supplement of theirs. I've been taking this, it's kind of a lie. I was taking it for like a few weeks and then I just forgot to take vitamins again. Gotta get back on that. But anyway, Embrace, I'm going to start taking these again. We also have, I almost took off my toe. One scoop only, this is our pre-workout, Citrus Twist. This is my favorite flavor. And yeah, you can use code Alley on all these items at checkout, it'll save you 10%. Support me as well, but this is it for the video. You wanna come dance on camera with me? Come on, come on, let's have a dance party. Let's have a dance party to close it out. Peace out.